Apple has made a ton of changes with the new iOS 26 beta 1. There are a lot of changes everywhere on iOS. Wherever you look, like the home screen, the lock screen, the apps, the icons, there are changes everywhere. And of course, there is more to come with the next few betas. And one of the sections that has totally changed is the battery section on the settings app. If you go here and you go to battery, you will see a totally different page. At the top, you will have your battery percentage. It will show you when it was lost, last charged, and how much it will take to charge, and all that stuff. Right here, the daily usage is different. It will show you here whatever has used your battery. You can go to any of them to see more details, which is really cool. And of course, you will have the battery health here and everything like it used to be before, the battery percentage, the charging, and then you also have power mode. Now, when you go here, you will have the old low power mode and you will have also something new called adaptive power. But what is adaptive power and how does it work and what it does on your iPhone? Well, by enabling this, you will allow your iPhone to actually adjust how you're using stuff on your iPhone. So let's say your battery use is higher than usual. You're maybe performing like a heavy task or playing a heavy game or something like that. Then your iPhone will basically learn that. And what it does is that it will make performance adjustments to actually extend the battery life of your iPhone. So including right here, it says include including lowering the display brightness and allowing some activities that usually happen in the background to take a longer to finish, which means that it will basically switch the CPU performance, the power from different activities that always go on the background of your iPhone and we don't notice, and it will switch the focus to whatever you're doing that is consuming a ton of battery in order, of course, to save your battery. Things like background tasks, you know, those are processes that do happen in the background of your iPhone and we don't even know what's happening, but they're consuming battery as well. So in the meantime, when your iPhone is consuming a lot of battery on something that you're doing, it will basically save battery by allowing those things to take longer or finish later in order to give you more power. That way it preserves more battery. This is an amazing option actually, and I suggest you turn it on on your device. By default, it will actually be turned off. So you can go ahead and turn it off simply by going into the battery section on the settings app. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is adaptive power feature of the new iOS 26. It is actually super useful, probably will be improved even more with the next few betas. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it and found it helpful and of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys on the next one